there's tons of very cool interesting stuff to cover today i want to go over some updates regarding gtc 2024 and what we can actually expect some updates regarding graphics cards like the 50 series and price cuts some news regarding wii u emulation right here price cut obviously and then this is just a super cool aesthetically pleasing case that i've never seen before other than today if you guys want to go check that out i'll toss a link down in the description for you however first up we're going to be covering the asus rogue maximus z790 hero btf launching at yes very expensive motherboard and it comes with this right here integrated 600 watt gpu connector or in other words my friend you know the cableless motherboard or cableless cases where we also have the project zero which is apparently not often bought frequently with that but the msi project zero motherboard unfortunately the pcie that comes with project zero you need a, a a graphics card cable so it's technically the entire pc is not cableless the only problem with this right here my friends is it's not gonna look good in the white build forgot to say to like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment like subscribe leave a comment all that good stuff anyways this is cool we can always rely on asus to come out with some pretty neat interesting stuff so if we take a look at this this is what the io or ui or whatever you want to call this i guess io is what i want to call it <laughs> io the, like we got four usbs one two three four five five more we got three thunderbolts which is pretty nasty sweet bios clear cmos we got some wi-fi wi-fi 7 that's good and then we got whatever this stuff is right here and then we come down here we got the specs so we got size it's an atx memory i almost thought that was, i when i saw the four i thought it was ddr4 i was like are you serious right now Whoa, 192 gigabytes damn that's a lot what do we, how not nah, 64 hold up 64 128 do we have any so you would need 48 gigabytes sticks in order to get 192 so we don't have do we have any 256 gigabyte motherboards for ddr5 i'm curious about that let me know in the comments if, if that is actually a thing and then for pcie this is what we got storage networking rear io front io aura or in other words rgb cooling power and then yes i know 800 bucks or pounds is very very expensive for a motherboard but that's not new with asus they already have some extremely expensive motherboards uh and this is brand new so it's not really a surprise to see it being as expensive as it is so next what we can actually expect from nvidia's gpu technology conference and this right here is just updating live as it actually ends up happening so right here key takeaways this is all i'm going to end up covering with you so for key takeaways nvidia is set to kick off its annual gpu technology conference or in other words gtc with workshops on sunday and a keynote that addressed by founder and ceo jensen huang on monday quickly before we continue let me know what you guys think about this new overlay i know it's a little bit different and i know that the two screens on the left are a little bit smaller but going from this right here and then me swapping to like gameplay which is not currently playing uh it seems like people don't like that for some reason and it's whatever i mean the audience retention and my watch time has been very well but i really i'm just trying to improve my content that is good for everybody so if you don't like this right here i will just go back to going from this to this rather than having it all there all the time <laughs> so just let me know what you guys think if you don't like it i won't uh do it again so industry leaders including OpenAI, microsoft amazon and google among others are going to be taking at are going to be taking part at gtc which could shed a lot more light on nvidia's artificial intelligence innovatives and in initiatives 
<laughs> and partnerships. NVIDIA is expected to provide details on the B100 Blackwell that could be its most capable AI GPU yet, such as pricing, performance, and demand. And then the chip maker could also end up providing further insights about Silver, uh, Silver Rain AI initiatives. So now I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here and just talk about some stuff that I personally would like to see at GDC 2024. And you also can let me know what you guys would like to see as well. So first up, are we, my friends, going to take a wild guess at what I'm about to say? Are we gonna see anything on the 50 series of graphics cards? We might see something on the 5090. I don't think that we're gonna be seeing anything on the 5080, 70, or 60. We might see some stuff on the RTX 5090. And if we don't see like any whatever, like gaming benchmarks or specs or whatever like that, we might go, uh, Jensen might go over like what their plans are for the RTX 50 series of graphics cards. You know, it's where we're only in March. So leaks usually start coming out around June. So for us to get an update on the RTX 50 series of graphics cards is definitely me getting my hopes up and I'm already fully aware of that. However, I would like to see some um, updates regarding prices and just like news and stuff like that, man. I don't know. I just, Jensen's a super, like anything involving him is a guaranteed watch for me. He is such a cool, inspiring, innovative, interesting, guy to watch and listen to so it's pretty neat to be able to uh i don't know man it's just it's pretty neat to be able to get like advice from people like him just because of who he is so right here nvidia gtc 2024 all the news announcements as they end up happening so if i come here we refresh let's see if it's updated nope so we'll go ahead and refresh once whatever we're done with all these other things here. So RTX 5090 may be NVIDIA's biggest ever, maybe NVIDIA's biggest ever gen on gen performance uplift with GPU on track for 2024. This is already, this is just a little update regarding AGF. Um, this is not the same person as Copite 7 Kiwi or whatever. So just a little update regarding RTX 50 series. People are confused about NVIDIA Blackwell top die gaming GPU memory. Oh my goodness. I think that he intended to put some commas in this. People are, or people, oh my goodness. What do you mean? Okay, I'm not improperly reading this. I'm not a good reader guys, but this is not worded properly. Like, oh my goodness, what did I just do? This is not worded properly. I'm incorrectly reading this because it's not, oh my God, stop doing that. Okay, there we go. People are confused about NVIDIA Blackwell's top die, gaming GPU, the memory bus, and VRAM capacity. I can't say too much right now, but gen-to-gen -gen performance uplift is the biggest ever. Don't forget that Blackwell was designed to compete with a monster 3 nanometer MCM RDN, RDN4, oh my goodness, RDNA4, more to come soon. That could be RDN4. Um, oh, I really hate when you keep doing that. <laughs> but uh i think he meant to say rdna for um but anyways so this is pretty cool to see you know the other day when we covered the 5060 versus the 4 5070 versus the 5080 and the 5090 if you ended up missing that video go and check that out um we did that was also covering the three nanometer chip i'm pretty sure the 5090 was the only GPU that ended up having this three nanometer chip, but I could be incorrect about that. But anyways, it's just more updates regarding the actual performance boost. For those of you that are unaware, this thing is going to be 70% faster than an RTX 4090, which I just don't, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this here so that everybody can see. If you wanna go ahead and pause this right here so that you can get an idea of what my webcam is covering, it's like, two words uh i genuinely dude i just don't like what do you need that kind of i mean i'm happy and i'm excited don't get me wrong i'm just like thinking to myself like dude a 4090 is like already wow you know and it's like 
I don't know, bro. That's like, that's just so insane to see that kind of a performance bump from a graphics card. But the problem with this is I do think that a lot of people that are already probably have left a comment about the 50 series being so overly priced. Unfortunately, I'm going to agree with them. I don't think Nvidia is going to end up releasing an RTX 5090 that's 70% faster than an RTX 4090 and have it release at the same price that a 4090 is. I just don't see that happening. Like that's a massive, that is a massive performance gain. And it is the only one that we have the most reliable sources actually talking about right now. So if this is the only GPU that gets this kind of a performance bump, I'm unfor unfortunately, I'm going to say that we're probably gonna see like a $500 price increase from the RTX 4090 because that's a, because nvidia is so like you got to remember that the 4090 isn't just going to become irrelevant when this happens you got to remember that when nvidia releases the rtx 5090 they're not just going to be like oh this two thousand dollar rtx 4090 oh we're only going to charge like a thousand bucks for it now and then we're just going to sell our 5090 for the two thousand dollars the 4090 is that's not going to happen. They're going to keep the 4090 really like close to where it is right now. They may drop at a hundred, maybe 200 bucks if we're lucky. And then the 5090 is probably going to be like 2,100, maybe 2,200 and possibly all the way up to 2,500, man. I just, that's just such a big performance gain. I can't see them not doing that. You know what I mean? But anyways, let's go ahead and continue here. We ended up finding an RTX 4080 super at its $1,000 MSRP. And the price is probably the best way of scoring an actual graphics card right now for those of you that are unaware zotac has done a great job at increase or not increasing of course it's sold out well it's already sold out boys <laughs> it was not sold out just a moment ago like it was not sold out like 30 minutes ago unfortunately it's sold out but i will go ahead and toss a link down in the description alongside with this case i'm gonna go ahead and move these over here just so that uh i don't forget this case really is clean i really like it please tell me you guys think that this is cool as well let's see if we have any computer builds oh we do oh my goodness we need cable management oh okay never mind it's the hair <laughs> it's the anime girl hair i was gonna say that does not yeah oh my goodness dude Yeah, we need uh i don't i'll never understand why people get cases like this and like okay this is a better view there's not whatever i'll never understand why people don't take the time to do cable management i really don't i'll never understand why people don't do that but anyways let's go ahead and continue here all right GT, let's refresh this to see if we got any update nope all right so we got all that that's so that's over on amazon this right here wii u emulator cmu 2.0 72 ended up releasing Really, it's all I need to say about this. I don't really uh, feel like Nintendo like watching this. So I'm going to keep this as short as I possibly can because Nintendo kind of S-U-C-K-S. Especially with this right here being shown. So yeah, there's your update regarding the new Simu Wii U emulator. You got improvements to Vulkan, translations, documentation, lots of bugs and that kind of stuff. So go and update that. This is right here, RTX 4070 Ti, my friends, is now available for 679 buckaroos over on Newegg. So again, go ahead and toss a link to this down in the description, or you can go ahead and, uh, really, did I not click the link? Right. Hello? Oh my goodness, I was gonna say. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss the link. I mean, it's only 50 bucks off. The 4080 Super, that's definitely a way better, if it gets back in stock at least, because that's that's insane to, to actually see a 4080 Super be a thousand bucks. That's pretty crazy. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a video on this one. I do have a video on the white, right? The white, so tech, GP. Let's see if I have a video on it. What? Let's just click this, just because it's the first one that popped up, or second one. Last purchase, December 11th. Let's see if my video's on it. What? Oh my goodness, there we are, boys. So the first Nina, 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 Nina. 
<laughs> it's so cool to make Amazon videos for products. But anyways, guys, it's going to bring us to the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. That motherboard really is what it has me super excited, dude. That's so cool that we're already getting the cables GPU motherboards. I know that we still got to wait for whatever more cases. But that white case, dude, that John's bow, I think that's super clean looking. I think that that I like the way that looks better than the MSI and Corsair one. I think it looks better, especially the MSI one. I don't like the big hump for where, where you put the power supply. I really wish they would have just made the case wider so that we could stuff everything in the back. I know the motherboard wires are back there, so I kind of understand why they did it the way they did it, but it's true. It's, it looks kind of stupid with a little box. And then the Corsair one, the top, I don't like the, so the, the problem with the Corsair case, man, is it, it's, it has the white glass on the top. And I know it could look cool if you end up doing the dual fan thing on the AIO, you know, like you got some fans at the bottom of the actual radiator, like down here, and then you put some more on the top. I get it. Okay. It would look cool if you did that, but you're kind of it's like a lose-lose situation if you don't do that because if you don't do that you're either going to be seeing the radiator underneath the case or if you put the fans on the top of the radiator now you don't got as much rgb going on through your computer and it's not going to be as bright which to be fair isn't that big of a deal because i know you know just as well as i do you're probably just like me and you turn your lights off when you actually play a game the only time you got your lights on is when you're not playing a game <laughs> because this is very annoying especially like even if i watch my tv i gotta come over here and disable my lights so that i can watch my tv <laughs> because i don't like the lights being like right up in my face over there but anyways guys it's gonna bring us to the end of the video let me know what you guys think about all this i'll catch you guys in the next one peace